Hi everyone, my name is Juan Camilo Alcaraz. Today I want to talk about a cool feature from RPR that allow us to render panoramic images. This kind of images could be used in different applications, for example we can use in VR application or we can use in 360 videos inside YouTube for example. Okay, so let's take a look to this file. Now you can notice here, this is a small studio apartment that have a lot of lights. All these lights you see here are photometric lights. We have one light here in the front of the, on the, in the entrance of the light and we have one direct light to simulate the direction of the sun. Else than those lights, we have this object called RPR environment object. This object allow us to have one IBL image for lighting the, the scene and one image uh, that we can use it for background. Okay, so let's start. Let's move to the interior. Here I will move to the camera number one and I will going to press F10 to see the render settings. Like you can see here, I'm using active shade mode. I having a AMD uh, Fire Pro video card and a very important thing, I'm using the plugin version 1.8.7 in case you are using a different version, maybe some uh, parameters or a couple of things are, are different. Okay, uh, let's see the resolution, we are rendering a small image. I will go into hit render and you will notice it will uh, 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 wait a little bit until the first render because we have a lot of lights so we are calculating all these lights uh, before the first render. Anytime I try to render it again it will going to do it faster. Okay, so like you can see here, this is the first render, uh, like you can see this is how the render looks. I'm not using any kind of tone mapping or, or any anything like this because I just want to focus on the panoramic uh, topic. Uh, I'm using the active shade so in case I move to a perspective view I can move for example and the active shade will going to be update all the change I made. Okay so this is how it looks but now let's move to how to create a panoramic image. For this I will going to jump to the physical camera. The physical camera number one is a camera placed in the middle of the of the room. So like you can see here I am in the middle of the room but I want to create a panoramic so I will press F10 again and instead of using a default camera you will see here inside the RPR par render settings you have this camera settings instead of using a default type camera I can use a spherical panorama camera it's just as simple as switching this to the spherical panorama and you will see how the render is right now at full 360 image in case you are using or in case you are rendering this for uh, VR devices and stereo devices you can switch to spherical panorama stereo and you will notice that right now we have this split in two different images each one will going to fit one of the device uh, eyes for example else than that you can use the cube map rendering options these options like you will notice is splitting the image instead of one single 360 image you have six different uh, image that will fit uh, uh, all the face of a cube map also you have the cube map stereo 2 that right now you have the double of the images all of them place it one next to the other in case you will going to use this method for example you need to adjust the resolution the width of the image to avoid the stretching effect okay so that like you can see here this is the common way to do it is faster you don't have to make any particular change into the parameter it's just a matter of wait until the render is done okay we're going to cancel this and I will show you for example how we can verify or how we can test if the image is working okay so inside rendering inside 3ds max we have this panorama exporter option inside the viewer 
we can load the image I will load the image I rendered before and like you can see this is how it looks and this is how it works inside this image has not been uh, finished completely so you can notice a small noise but it's just a matter to show you how this image how this workflow uh, works okay guys I hope you liked this short tutorial see you the next time bye